All right, everyone, we're going to wrap up with head coach Oscar Preha. Uh, Oscar, we just spoke to Faku, and I'm obviously not the result that the team was looking to jump back into the regular season on. If you want to just start with your overall thoughts on the match tonight, please. Uh, okay, uh, obviously, a uh, very disappointed uh, result. A great opportunity for us to escalate on the standings and, and, uh, and obviously continue with what we have uh, had in the last few games. But definitely today was not a good day for us. Uh, we started the game sharp, uh, had a few uh, options to score. Uh, but after that, I thought we, we didn't have a good game. We were low in energy. I thought we didn't have the intensity that has uh, characterized this group all the time. And um, obviously, we need to move on. Second half was heartless. We, we, I, didn't, I didn't see us with that willingness that we all have. I take the responsibility of us, of course, the preparation of the group and uh, the reactions after these uh, uh, two weeks. And uh, today, we... we we didn't look the majority of the time like uh, like we are. So disappointed we're going to review, but we have to move on and continue what, what is coming. Go to Michael Citro for two. Oscar, thanks for your time. Um, the, obviously, this is not a performance you expected from your team. Was was there any sign of this in the last two weeks that, that you might see a performance like this uh, tonight, uh, just the, that lack of cohesion? No, not at all, Michael. Really, we were very uh, optimistic today as uh, uh, we had a, an inter squad over the weekend and and, uh, and the, difficult to simulate the game, but uh, the metrics and numbers and everything tell us that we can continue with that momentum that we had. But uh, today, I didn't see that energy. And definitely uh, with the players after the game, we discussed it and then the energy wasn't there, and the, uh, it's a big responsibility for us as a coaches and as a players. But uh, you're right, Michael. What today was a, a very disappointing performance. With the uh, with the stoppage time included, you guys played up a man for 35 minutes and mm -hmm. did not register a shot on target. I mean, what? Uh, obviously, they they dropped their block low. They stayed compact uh, and organized defensively. But you know what? can you do in that situation to, I mean, because that seemed like a, a lifeline back into the game at that point. Right, right. No, we had time uh, enough uh, to equalize the game, especially when um, they end up doing with, uh, playing with 10 players. Uh, but uh, you're right, we, we didn't have uh, uh, the uh, that resolution, uh, that eagerness in, in the last 20 meters. We were moving the ball, but uh, we didn't find spaces just to hurt them. Uh, it looks like uh, we could have played longer uh, without succeeding in the last uh, part of the field. We'll go over to Austin David for a couple. Oscar, uh... When, when the team concedes right before halftime after getting uh, some good momentum, especially in that first 10 minutes, how, how disheartening is it just to, you know, going into the locker room and uh, having just conceded? And how did you kind of feel that the, um, the, the mood was at the halftime kind of coming into the second half? All right. Obviously, it's frustrating when you have uh, those opportunities that we create in the last 15 minutes and, 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 uh, and recognize or see that the game is still one is still zero zero. And then after that, we can see the goal and we start dropping our level. That's when I felt that we were not uh, with the energy that we start the game or there's a characteristic of the team and and uh, and we couldn't get back to it. We we couldn't get back to it. And then in the second half, not even with one uh, more a player, we couldn't impose our rhythm. Uh, and uh, and then definitely that's 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 what happened there. It's not excuses at all. I thought we didn't have uh, a, a good game at all. We we didn't play well the majority of the time. We just have uh, fifteen minutes in the first half when we were aggressive and we create our chances, and then after that, uh, that's not the Orlando that we recognized. Kind of talked earlier in the week just about that that two week break of of having that good run of form leading into League's Cup and then heading into that knockout round and then having this this big gap and trying to find that form back again. How how do you kind of take this match now and 
and try and find that form again, um, you know, with a result like this. Mm. Yeah, we can we can look around and see uh, uh, reasons, and uh, uh, we can obviously just uh, pass this frustration, finding any of those things. But uh, this is uh, this is not us, and uh, beside or uh, just those fifteen minutes, we couldn't get our energy back. It's not the Orlando City intensity that we play uh, all the time, so. Um, not not excuses. So we we can look up and 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 see how has been these two weeks. Obviously, because it's our responsibility as a professionals. But uh, but we're not not excuses. This we we're prepared and uh, we have the capacity and we have the the players and we have the coaches staff just to be better than that.